Hi there everyone, this is darkside 2 k 7 aka Star Sky Season. I hope you have a fantastic Friday. Yes, thank God it's Friday. And unless you're living in Norfolk where we're gonna be facing that goddamn uh snowstorm and whatnot. So you probably so sorry I haven't been uploading some, you know, stories about, you know, some news articles of me talking about it. I've been so busy with other stuff, work. But I figured now would be the best time um, to actually talk about some stuff. Woo -woo. So, let's see. What should I talk about today? Oh, right. Two, two places, two teams deal with some bullshit coaches. First off, we're going to talk about the San Francisco 49ers. So, basically, the Niners are already getting themselves ready for their upcoming game. But also, the storyline is that, um, is that, um, their court, defensive coordinator, Mike, Mike McDaniel, was getting himself, was getting himself ready to get a good, nice-ass coaching game. And I was like, dope as shit, dope as shit. Well, the thing was, is that, for some dumbass reason, Deadspin has decided to attack Mike McDaniel, saying that, oh, he's cool, but he's not ready for a co coaching gig yet. And in fact, got to the part where they said that they don't want, they don't want head, white head coaches. I, I wish I was joking. I wish I was joking, man. It's not even... It's not even funny, but it is what it is. I'm reading this for media I I'm reading this for media I because I feel like it's that it needs to be said, okay? <clears throat> Deadspin clarifies his piece on white guy 49ers coach to reflect he is by race. So we regret the error. Yeah. I, we regret the error. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You regret the error. You fucking regret the, the error. Really? Did did you really? Did you fucking Really, like, did you even fucking think? Reg yeah, yeah, yeah. You regret the error of my ass. The only thing you regret is that you you didn't do you didn't do the proper research. I mean, I mean, say what you want about me. At least when I do stories, I try to do it, do like you know mostly a fucking research. But I digress. Let's read uh, what. Let's read this. I mean this for media. An embarrassing oversight led Deadspin to create a hit piece against San Francisco 49ers offensive coordinator Mike McDaniel this week. The outlet Sean Beckwith wrote an article published Saturday, published Saturday in which he campaigned for NFL teams with head coach of vacancy to hire minority candidates. In other words, in other words, this asshole, this dumbass right here want NFL head coach, NFL teams to hire black head coaches. It's because, you know, in their minds, they feel like, fuck hiring a coach that had, based on merit, let's hire, they have to hire head coaches based on their fucking skin color, which is stupid. In my opinion. Be careful what you tweet for. Be careful what you tweet for, people of the online realm, he wrote. Mike McDaniels, the San Francisco 49ers offensive coordinator, who has gone viral for his adorable news conference featuring reference to Mike Jones and engaging Quest answers, is ticking off all the boxes of, to be the next trendy young white guy who takes a head coaching position before one of the many deserving black candidates. Really getting sick and tired of, really getting sick and tired of this shit, you know that? There is only one problem with Beckham's characterizing the McDaniels as a trendy young white guy who might get the position over a deserving black candidate. McDaniels is biracial. Beckham added, the current coaching trend is leaning towards brilliant young offensive mind, minds. Minds. White guys like Sean McVay, Kyle Sanahan, Cliff Kingsbury, Zach Taylor, Return to Zach, y'all, Matt LaFour, Kevin Stefanski, Matt Rue, Ben Astilli, and Nick Sorarian. What's wrong with that? I mean, okay, so they're white, but at least they're, but at least they're, uh, but at least they uh, seem all cool, especially Zach. Return to Zach, y'all. 
Adding the McDaniel went to Yale and it's blood in the water for NFL teams looking for a head coach. He might be brilliant, he might be the next Josh McDaniels, but he's not more qualified than any of the black coaches who just got fired, including black Brian Flores or long time coordinators who seemed to couldn't get hired. Oh, the coordinator one. We'll get to that one. Beckham attributed McDaniels as sent to a coordinator position with a premier NFL team to his personality and connections and noted McDaniels is a perfect example of how qualified black candidates could get over overlooked. Beckham's assumption with McDaniels' race is all the more embarrassing when you read this profile of him from NBC Sports, which is published in March 2 of last year. McDaniels said he had an epiphany at an early age when he was visiting his grandmother on his father's side of the game. NBC reported at the time. When he looked at the photos around his house, he realized he looked different than other members of his family. Medalla commented on the former epiphany during the interview. It was severe to, when I think about it, but I remember one particular day walking around with all the suddenly noticed that, hey, I'm the only first skinned person in all these picture frames. He said, my grandmother on my dad's side is back. In my dad's back. Desmond issued this clarification with Becker's post. And as you were, we learned after publication of this article that 49ers offensive coordinator Mike McDaniel, who we describe as a white guy, is a is in fact biracial. The, the article's original text remains below. We regret the error. Regret the error. Yeah, regret the error. More like you should have done your fucking research. See, this right here, this right here is one of the main reasons why I feel that you have to do your research first before you spout the fuck off before you spout the fuck off on this whole race thing but this ain't nothing new this ain't nothing new this is not nothing new wanna know why I'll tell you why because to woke sports media they can't see anything but, but race they can't so yeah So yeah, I mean, I'm not even, I'm not even, uh, ups. Stephen A. Smith. Oh yeah, I gotta do. Yeah. So yeah, that idiot was dumb, and dead spin just proves once and for all why nobody should take these guys anything seriously. I mean, J.K. I mean, I'd rather listen to myself talk crazy about it. Another story featuring. Now we got another one that I want to talk about. It's about you know. The Green, not the Green Bay, the Denver Broncos. Yes. Because of course it is. Of course it is. It's always the Denver Broncos. It's always about, well. Now January 31st, students can submit their artwork to the Okay. So basically what happened is that um, the Denver Broncos, the Denver Broncos had decided, okay, maybe we need to, um, there he, there he is. They decided to hire a new head coach after they fired Vance McDonald. And they decided to get the, and they decided to, surprisingly, got the Green Bay Packers, the former Green Bay Packers offensive coordinator, Nathaniel. Hold on, I'm trying to get. All oh, right, Nathaniel. Yeah, I'll read this more. I just had to get the auto, had to get the uh, picture up there. It's like, God damn it, I didn't want to go here. Sorry, sorry. I, it's like, come on, come on, load up, load up. Give me the article. Give me the article. Here we go. I'm reading this from Fox News because why not, right? ESPN Stephen A. Smith laments Broncos coaching hire. As a black man, it is sickening. Yeah, it sounds like a fucking you problem to me. Smith said Nathaniel Hackett, who is white, has similar credentials, if not worse, than the Chiefs' Eric Benemini. Yeah, okay, the storyline in that one is pretty dumb, but I'll tell you what, what, what went down before I read this. 
The Broncos hired former of former offensive coordinator of the Green Bay Packers, Nathaniel Hackett, to be their new head coach. The game plan for them was, in my eyes, they got him. They got him so they could get so they could get Aaron Rodgers, who's going to be a free agent and probably demand a trade for Green Bay to go to Broncos. To a normal person, ooh, that's beautiful. To a normal person. That's actually a smart play by them. That's actually a smart play by the Broncos. But to idiots like Stephen A. Smith, it feels, oh, my God. Oh, they, he feel triggered by them. So, yeah. Let me read this. ESPN's hot take artist Stephen A. Smith, more like Stephen A. Snitch, am I right? Fires off his opinions about the Denver Broncos reportedly decided to hire Green Bay Packers offensive coordinator Nathan Hackerman, Hackett, as their next head coach. Multiple reports indicate on Thursday that Broncos were set to name Hackett their new head coach in place of Vic Fran Nick Frangio, who was fired at the end of the season. Smith took issue to the Broncos hiring Hackett, who is white, while Kansas City Chiefs offensive coordinator Eric Benemini, who is black, was overlooked. The NFL has been on the receiving end of some heat following the dismissal of a few black head coaches leaving Pittsburgh Steelers top coach Mike Tomlin as the lone black head coach in the league. Well, for that one, well, see, the thing is, is that, okay, for um, Mike Tomlin, I think we all can agree when I say, I think we can all agree when I say this. Pittsburgh doesn't fire the head coaches. They re either retire them or let their contracts simply, simply um, expire. The fact that this guy, I mean, to be perfectly honest, the fact that this son of a bitch, the fact that Mike Tomlin still managed to keep his job after after terrible play after terrible playoffs um playoffs so is that's a that's a, that should that made me scratch my head on that one but it is what it is okay let me read this Smith pointed to Benetti having the same perspective the same president attacking in their respective office. Not exactly common plays, but putting together the playbook design. Smith said he understood the hire if it if it was going to bring the team Aaron Rodgers, who the Broncos have been rumored to be interested in trading for in last year's offseason. That's it's just a damn thing when I see something like this. In regards to Eric Benemini and his resume, if then you put up put that up against David Hackett's resume because the great Aaron Rodgers hasn't been in the Super Bowl in 2010 and Hackett wasn't even an offensive coordinator in the National Football League at the particular moment in time. Smith said in ESPN's first I didn't get to, I didn't get to, he didn't get to Buffalo until 2013. And so for him, he ended up getting a head coaching job when he had Aaron Rodgers and him in combination with Matt LaFleur hasn't been a, able to get you over the hump. And you just scored 10 points in the AFC champ divisional playoff game on your home turf in inclement weather where you were supposed to be this be the deciding advantage against the San Francisco 49ers team that has that was playing on a short week and had Jimmy Garoppolo as a quarterback and special team score. The defense for Green Bay held you to six points, and your offense can't generate more than 10 points. And a couple of weeks later, you get a head coaching job, but Eric Benemini, who's with those qualifications, didn't get the job. I'm telling you right now, as a black man, it's sickening, it's insulting, and bothers the living hell out of me. Yeah, again, sounds like a you problem. Eric Benemini in the he, Eric Benemini's Chiefs are in the AFC Championship game. This time against the Cincinnati Bengals, he interviewed for the for the Broncos job. It's clear whether he he's on top of the of the target list for any teams. See, you want see this type of shit gets on my fucking nerves, man. It really does. It's like teams are trying to get their fucking head coaches. Teams are just trying to get a head coach that can help these, to help them win games and make it to the fucking playoffs and whatnot. But you got idiots like Stephen A. Smith and idiots like Desmond who wants to come in and said, if you want, said, uh, oh, it'd be smart if you hire a head coach. Who has the same skin color? If you don't, you're labeled racist. I'm just really tired of it because it's really stupid and it's dumb how you want to force a team to hire a coach 
based on their fucking skin color and not on their merits. And God fucking forbid, and I say this too many goddamn times, God fucking forbid if the coach doesn't help, doesn't help a team win and they have to fire him. If that were to happen, then you will be on their asses calling them racist. Don't believe me? If y'all if y'all if y'all don't believe me, well, look at what happened with the Miami Dolphins when they fired Brian Flores. When they fired fire when they fired Brian Flores, you know what they you know what they did? You know what the first thing DC did do? They called the Miami Dolphins racist for firing a black head coach. Because for some reason, if you fire a black head coach or give it a, or or bench or or bench or trade away a black quarterback, you're racist. Like seriously, man, it's like these people, these woke idiots, just don't fucking know how how controlling a team works. Now, all they care about is race, 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 and I'm sick of it. Honestly, I'm, I'm really fucking sick of it. Oh yeah, and speaking of Brian Flores, I have heard he has been interviewing. And he was being interviewed in a coaching job with the Green with the New York Giants. So we'll definitely see. I mean. Everybody's already upset, like, man, well, you know, uh, brought, um, Mike, Mike Tom is the only coach, is the only black coach who still got a job. I'm like, yeah, that because he, yeah, the fact that he got didn't get fired after several playoff losses is shocking. But I think the main reason why Mike Tomlin is still with the Steelers is because of one reason. One reason only. It's because he man, he never had a losing record with, with the Steelers. Although now he'll probably have been now with Big Ben uh, now who announced his retirement yesterday. But anywho, that's just my two cents one day. But if I'm gonna tell, if it's one thing I want to tell to these uh, sports idiots, to these sports fools, it's this: Can you please shut the fuck up when it comes to a high, to the hiring practices to these teams wanting to get a coach that they want? They want to get a fucking coach. If they want to get, oh, hold up, <coughs> here we go. If they want to get a coach that will help them win, that's their fucking prerogative. You can't force these fucking teams to hire a fucking coach based on their fucking skin color. How hard can it fucking be? You goddamn idiot motherfuckers. So what? Like seriously. Like seriously, so hiring, so you, you think hiring a goddamn fucking oh shit, oh damn, that was sick. I mean, you think oh a coach can hire a black fucking head coach was gonna it means that oh it's gonna help them out in the long run? Fuck no. They need a coach that can that has coaching experience. They need to have coaching experience. Is a can they help help develop players? Help, help put together staff to help develop players, respect you know, be on the same level of respect with the players and all that. That's all they need. They don't need they don't need to hire a fucking head coach because of a fucking skin color. And honestly, to me, if I were, if I have a if I run a business all this shit, if I want to I want to hire people who can get the job gut who can get the job done regardless of their fucking skin color and regardless of their fucking gender. Fucking idiots. So yeah, that's my two cents on the whole thing. But I would like to know what you think on this. As always, be sure to leave a comment, like this video, subscribe to this channel, click the notification bell so you don't miss another update, share with your friends, share with your neighbors, share with others. And that's about it. Until until next time, this is Dark Side 2K7, aka Sun Sky Sage signing off. Cat I will catch you later in the next one, and I'll see you later. Peace. Seriously. Calling up calling up calling the um the fucking Denver Broncos racist because they didn't hire a fucking black head coach. Who I'm sorry, but who the fuck cares? I mean heck, what's next? Oh, I mean shit, what next? They're probably gonna want they'll probably be putting like well the other I mean and besides well, let's be real and I know I should finish end this but I'm gonna let's, let's be real. The suit there's that first they're gonna be saying oh they want to see black head coaches. Don't be too fucking surprised when they say now they want to see uh, female head coach, female head coaches, or 
member or an LGBTQ head coach because to the to woke idiots, it's not gonna stop. It never gonna stop because it's like every you give these idiots what the fuck they want and they'll want more. It's like the old saying goes. You give these you give these motherfuckers an inch, they'll take a goddamn mile. Anyway, now I'm done. I'm out. So you know, be be cool. Respect other people. Don't be don't be woke morons. And remember, hugs, not drugs.